The question we are asking ourselves this time is, where is the lesion if a patient presents with paraplegia? Let's begin by defining paraplegia. This is essentially paralysis or weakness of the lower limbs, the legs essentially. Now if a patient presents with paraplegia, the lesion can be in one of two places. It can either be either in the midline cortical area or the thoracic spine. So let's talk about if the lesion is in the midline cortical area. This particular presentation has cortical sensory loss, meaning loss of proprioception, which essentially tells us where our joints are, and loss of two-point discrimination. Frontal incontinence, whereas they would also have a normal pain and temperature sense, i.e. intact spinothalamic senses. Now, the question to ask yourself is that why does a midline cortical area lesion result in paraplegia? To answer this question, we have to take a look at the humunculus model. This gives us an approximate idea of what parts of the cortex control different parts of the body. As you can see here, towards the midline of the cortex, I've circled the area which is responsible for leg or hip involvement, and verily that is towards the midline. So a lesion in this area can give us paraplegia. Now, if the lesion is in the thoracic spine, it comes with associated sensory level deficits, acute urinary retention or hesitancy of micturition. So here is a slide summarizing the points. Thanks again for watching. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again.